Hey gang, Jack Lair here. Uh, this is going to be a pickups video and a little bit of an update of what's going on, why you haven't seen me in a while. I have been posting some videos. I've been doing a lot more with Twitch, uh, just because I find it is fun to uh, play a game, played all the way through Demon Souls and streamed uh, all but a little bit of that. Just because it was fun to watch other people watch me and the, the oh, oh, you know, you gotta turn around and go get the... That was, it's, Twitch is like having friends in the room again. Like when you used to play, I remember playing Final Fantasy with my friend Mike from down the road. And we would sit and be like, oh, wait, but how do we get to that treasure chest? We have to go around and then we have to go up there and go back over. But anyways, so, but you haven't seen, uh, as always, my uh, co-pilot Ember is here with us. Uh, you haven't seen a lot of me because uh, I am actually moving from Texas where I am up to Michigan. Uh, so things have been a little weird around here lately. Uh, preparing for a move is always fun. So here it is. Uh, these are pickups for... This is supposed to be pickups for February now that we're halfway through March. We're actually almost all the way through March. This is February and March kind of combined. Um, so we'll go ahead and start with the non-video uh, game part of it, which is I found this in uh, one of the thrift stores. This is uh, the Forgotten Realms campaign set for Advanced Dungeons and Dragons, or AD&D. Uh, and... I just saw it there and it was $5 and originally this was $15, so I decided to pick it up. Uh, I have played D&D most of my... I've played role-playing games most of my life, uh, starting all the way back with D&D uh, &D when my friend Jeff and I really didn't know the rules and we just tried to play, uh, all the way up to hosting a game for my son so that he could play. Uh, that's the only really non-gaming thing here. Uh, one of the things that you may have seen is uh, my video on the, the Wii that I got. Uh, I did the transfer, the transfer went flawlessly, the video explains it perfectly, so if you ever need uh, if you ever need to transfer stuff from a Wii to a Wii U, go to the Nintendo website, just say, type in Wii to Wii U transfer, there's a video that walks you through it step by step. Uh, in thrift stores, I found some really interesting stuff uh, and some fairly normal stuff. I uh, found a good old uh, Xbox controller. Uh, always in uh, need of more of those. Uh, and, and it even had the, the disconnector, which these things... Microsoft, this was the dumbest idea ever, having the detachable cable. Because I don't know, everybody goes in there, and I swear they just yank these off and put them in their pocket. And then walk off with them. I uh, found an old school gray zapper, which, oh, that noise just, oh. you ever have that noise? Like, there's just a noise that takes you back to when you were 11. That, that noise is the noise for me. Because I remember playing Duck Hunt and just, I had Duck Hunt and I had Hogan's Alley. And Hogan's Alley, I remember there was one day that my mom and I were just sitting there and we didn't have anything to do. So I put on Hogan's Alley and I got to like the, the previously I'd only ever gotten to like the second or third stage. And I got like way deep into the game and I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then of course uh, the dog ran through and tripped over cable and bumped the, the cartridge out, and then flicker, 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 and never got that far again. <sighs> Anyways, uh, so picked up those, some nice controllers to add to my collection. Uh, also found this, which is a, uh, a gray Game Boy case. I am... All right, have you ever watched a video on YouTube and saw someone do something dumb and thought, <laughs> I 
never let my battery run out or fill up the memory card. Well, just filled up the memory card. So scratch that off my list of things I can make fun of other people for. But back to the gray Game Boy case. The thing I don't understand, and yes, I paid uh, 95 cents for this, is that I don't know how you put the Game Boy... Like, I don't know what these slots are for, because I've, I've played with Game Boy cartridges, and I don't know if it's just like, hey, store your cassette tapes inside a game... I don't know. I don't know. And I haven't been able to find a good look at what this, how this was used before. The only thing I can imagine is putting the boxes in there, but even that doesn't make any sense. I don't know. I don't know. But, great Game Boy case. 95 cents, I figured why not. It says uh, Nintendo Game Boy on it. Looks kind of cool. Um, and the last thing from a thrift store was I picked up, uh, they had a sale, so this is the, uh, the Naki uh, cleaning kit for the NES, so it's got the, still got the little thing in there, and, uh, they had it marked there, and it was for, it was for four dollars, but it kept, it kept sitting there and sitting in there and sitting there, and finally it was a day where it was on sale, 75% off, so I got it for a dollar. Uh... Let's see. Oh, I lied. One more thing. Uh, Snowcross 2, a snowmobile game. Uh, it was originally $4.94. It was on sale that day. I don't remember quite what I paid, but pretty fun game. Uh, let's... Oh, let's hit the... I picked up one game from a uh, pawn shop. And that is Spectrobes Beyond the Portals. And I picked it up, it was $1.99. Had the case, the manual, and everything in it. So I decided, eh, why not? I'm gonna go ahead and pick it up. Have not played it, don't know anything about it, but for $2, uh, it looks okay. I don't know exactly what's going on. It looks, reminds me kind of um, Fossil Fighters. Reminds me a lot of fossil fibers, so I need to talk to my son about that. Uh, moving on to eBay. Now, one thing off of eBay, I uh, got uh, Dual Masters Senpai Legends. Uh, game looked kind of fun, and it was uh, dirt cheap. So, got it. Here it is. And let's go... Oh! One last thing. I almost forgot about this big guy sitting down here. Is This guy was on sale as well, and this is... Uh, the Nintendo GameCube Beat Pad that comes with uh, MC Groovy Dance Craze. Uh, and this was on sale as well. I believe this was a grand total of $2. It was only 50% off. Alright, so now on to uh, Best Buy. I uh, was wandering around there, found Infinite Undiscovery. Uh, for ten dollars, I had a gift card to Best Buy, so I was just doing uh, cleanup work from Christmas, and also picked up this, which is a really odd thing, but it was on sale for a ridiculous price, and it's the Wii U stereo headset. Now, ideally, you're supposed to plug it into the top of the Wii U tablet, uh, but I'm actually using it at my desk. Uh, I found that this is this really good, really good headset. Well, I'm really good, maybe an exaggeration, but as far as uh, I think I paid seven or eight dollars for this, as far as seven or eight dollars go, this is an amazing headset for eight dollars. It's not going to rival any of the things that people know by name, but uh, it does have a microphone built into it. It doesn't have any volume control built in, and for me, who has kind of a giant head, uh, it, the earphones are very, very tight when you first put them on. So I think they were designed for children who have smaller heads. And mine is uh, stretching out after about a week or two of use. It's now fairly comfortable. I still leave it sit a little far forward on my, on my face so that that way it's not pressing my ears in. Then again, I also wear glasses, so that's a problem. The last thing. Uh, 
And this was... I don't know how I did this, but I ended up with a PS4. Somehow, my wife agreed, so I went and got one. And so far, it is amazing. Now, I, I haven't bought any full games for it just because I... Most of the games that are out for the system right now do not appeal to me. I don't really like shooters. I was in the army. I got enough of that. Um, uh, Knack. Eh, it looks cool, but I'm not jumping off for it. Thief. I'm on the fence about that. Maybe the first one that I buy. And uh, Infamous Second Son just came out today, and it looks beautiful. But I don't know if I want to. I don't know if I want to jump through that through that hurdle just yet or jump through that hoop, whatever. I don't know if I want to buy the game. Uh, the remote play between the, the PlayStation 4 and the Vita, mwah, magnifique. Now, the streaming, pretty cool. However, and this is being fixed uh, in the next patch, is the, the whole, the whole uh, archive. It doesn't allow you to archive Twitch streams, which is how I import things to YouTube. However, the next patch that's coming is going to have the patch that is going to disable HTCP, which will allow me to stream the PS4 the same way I stream the PS3 games. Um, and that's about it. Uh, so those are the things that I got. Uh, I won't be doing a full review of the PlayStation 4 because there are a million of them out there. Uh, it's a it's a great system, but there are no games for it. I mean, that's basically what it boils down to. It does have Flower. Flower looks absolutely gorgeous, as it did on the PS3. Flower is the reason I bought a PS3. Uh, Resogun is amazing. Now that I've figured out, the key to Resogun is to watch someone else play it so that you can understand what's going on, because it doesn't tell you. So I was like, uh, there's a human in danger, and I have no clue what that means. And it took me a while to realize there's a little green line that zings off, and the little humans trapped in the boxes, the boxes aren't protecting them, they're actually trapped in there. So when you release them, you then have to go and let the humans out, and grab the humans and then put them in the transporter. Anyways, uh, that's it for me. Thank you very much for watching, and uh, as always, play on!